Hello friends, welcome to the channel. This is part 2 of my multi-directional Bluetooth speaker project. I've already gone through in details the design, the circuit and all the parts used in the first video. So if you want more information about this project, you might want to watch that video first. This video is going to be a montage of how I put the speaker together. It's going to be pretty lengthy, so I'll just get to it. I want the charge indicator LED to only turn on when the DC jack is plugged in. But if I connect the LED directly to the jack, it will always be on even when the DC jack is not connected. That's because the battery will also be directly connected to the DC jack. So what I did was to drill a tiny hole here and insert a thin piece of the nickel strip. This added pin will only get connected to ground when the DC jack is plugged in. The LED can then reference that pin for its ground.
My initial plan was to have the music reactive LEDs shine through this part and also through the four slots around the speaker. But that doesn't look like it's going to work out too well. So I'm going to remove them and use silicone glue to seal those slots. clear silicone so the LEDs should be able to shine through. speaker is now complete. The number of modules I used might seem a bit much, especially if you're not very good with electronics. So here are a couple of ways to simplify the electronics and still have a pretty cool 3D printed speaker. First is to remove the charge function. Taking out the charge function means the speaker only gets power from the DC jack, but you get to remove the lithium battery and the battery protection module. You can also remove the charge indicator if you wish to trim down the circuit a bit more. The second way is to use an all-in-one Bluetooth module. These modules have the Bluetooth and the amplifier on the same board. That should further simplify the circuit to just the DC jack, the switch, the all-in-one Bluetooth module and the speakers. Even the music reactive LEDs can go. I designed a different top cover that you can print if you are going to be using a Bluetooth module different from the one I used. But if you like this project as it is and you don't mind all the electronics, I do have a comprehensive circuit diagram and a parts list in the video description. There is also a link to the STL files there. Alright, let's test the speaker and hear how it sounds.
So there you have it guys. The speaker sounds really really good. It also has a good amount of bass thanks to those passive radiators. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I hope you guys liked it too. If so, give this video a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.